Hello everybody and welcome back to Dyson Sphere Program. This is Techno Paladin. And after our little snafu of having to nurse our yellow cube production down to get our our warp core drive engine whatever thing researched, uh, we have I managed to get it through and so I just kind of let it run and was working on getting resources together. So I kind of loaded up with a bunch of stuff. Hopefully it will be enough. And I should have some uh, have some warpers on me, so we have about a hundred or so, so we should have plenty to get back and forth. So today we are going to be going to our first new system, and we are going to be leaving all of this, woo, all of this fun and mess and glorious disaster behind, and we can go start our new disaster. So with that, let's uh, let's take off. This will be my first time flying out here to do something like this. So let's uh, see what I'm gonna have to do to. We just kind of get out here in a in a general direction here, because I gotta figure out where we're going. So we are going to. Go to that Supra B, Superba. Yeah, that's what it was, Superba. So let's get this indicator. And, oh, there we go. That works. So this is only three light years away, so should be able to, if I get lined up here, speed up, and then I think it's a caps lock, right? All right, so we started the warp engine. I do like the graphics. It's uh, pretty slick. Uh, let's see. It's like I was almost angled off just about. So let's see. Well, we still got 27 AU. So I probably messed that up. I probably should have gone a little bit longer on the warp. Let's go ahead and just pop that in there. We'll get this last little bit. Stop. And there we go. So now, let's see. Where did we want to go? We want to go... Well, I'm going to slow down. Because I think we wanted this Superba 2. But let's take a look. So this is... Uh, crude oil. No, maybe it wasn't Superba 2. Let's see which one had all the... I want the one that had the bazillion resources. Okay, is this one here. So we want number one. It's like, still getting a little used to this flying in here, so. It's, uh, uh, we're recharging here. Okay, so I guess each time I hit the caps lock for warp, it uses a warper. Okay. Good to know. Gotta get this recharged up. We're almost there. Now this is a volcanic planet, so we'll see what we can do to get some of this construction started. It's like this has the sulfuric uh, acid on it, so that's one that something that we want so I don't have to deal with it from oil
And... Oh. Land on five different planets. All right. Okay, we got that one. Let's uh, get that one out of the way. Get that one out of the way. And we can come in here. Let's uh, let's do this. Uh, indicator there, so that way we can get out of there. Now, this says it's volcanic ash, so. That's interesting. So it's got little pockets of sulfuric acid here. But I don't see, like, lava. So I'm guessing that if I was to use one of those, uh, one of the power plants that we have unlocked here, this geothermal, I'm guessing that might not work on here. And of course this one says it's got a lot of uh, solar power and I don't have any solar panels. Go figure. I need silica to make them. Yeah, I need silica for everything. Okay, so... Well, we're going to start plopping stuff down now. Let's see, where are we going to start? See, we got some titanium, iron, titanium. Do, 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 do. Lots and lots of stuff. I mean, heck, those things got tons of reserves in them. I like it. So, what I'm thinking about doing is actually, let's, uh, let's zoom out. Let's go take a look at uh, the other planet here. Because I think we can let, let us. View. Okay, so this is an oceanic jungle. How much do, 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 do. construction area? 63%. So that's got our water, that's got crude oil, so that's where we're going to get all that. Okay, good. Uh, solar is not that great. Wind's okay. So this will probably be our hydrogen. Dang, it's got a ton of silica on it. Okay, that's good. What about this one here? So this one here is a barren desert. Okay, so this I think is going to be my construction planet. Yeah, I think this is where we're gonna build everything. That. I think that'll work out really well. And we can start the fire ice. And it's got titanium, so maybe I should should have landed there. Dang it. To start, because then I can have it start building batteries that we can start shipping. Okay, let's uh let's do that. Number Okay, there's, well, here, let's, dang it, I needed to probably just set that as a target. Number three, let's go there. Okay. All right, let's speed up. faster. It's like I was mostly recharged, so I got some juice. So I basically want to get my power sorted first, 
and we can get the fire ice going, then that would be good. Because I think that gives us the graphene, which we want for some stuff, and it also uh, gets us hydrogen. So I don't have to go do the oil harvesting just yet. And that's got a bunch of other resources too, so. Where are we at here? So there's a fire ice. So it's got 1.5 million on here. So let's see some stone. Titanium, iron, fire ice there. Okay, so let's just see, where's the, uh... Oh, what? I have items. Oh, it won't let me pull from there? Okay, well, that's, um, good to know. I found out I can shove some of these guys over there. Let's do that. Oh, I had one piece of oil in the way. So let's uh, grab that there. All right, now. Now let's go do that. Let's uh, I'm gonna come up here to the top of the world. Set that guy up. And then let's see, what do we where's my So here's a vein right here, okay. So this is going to need a miner. Trying to get... I come from this side, maybe. Six, and then let's do six. Okay, not a lot of fire ice here, but that's okay because that's like I said, it's going to get us this graphene. So, this is going to be done in a chemical facility, huh? All right. So what I'm thinking about doing, let's see, what's, how far is that? I wonder... If I was to do... I don't know what the range is on this, so let's... Uh, what I'm thinking about doing is using some of the... Our little fidgety spinner kind of dudes to transport. And I'm going to have to... Dang, I have those in there too. So let's... Um, okay, let's see. How am I going to do this? Well, let's use up some foundation. I'll just do some of that up here. So 
So what I want to do is, like I said, I'm going to try to turn this into a bit of a factory world here. So what I'm thinking is, is I don't want to take up a whole bunch of space, but I don't want to be just plastering planetary uh, distributors everywhere. So what I'm thinking to do is have the fidget spinners transport from the miner over here to this guy. And then I can let this tower distribute, maybe. Maybe. Let me, th let me think about that. So let's see. Well, what's what else is over here? I mean, I guess I could potentially go straight into... I want to collect all the fire ice. That's basically what I want to do. And then have it go to another location. So let's think about this. Let's see if I do. Because we have one here. And we get a bunch on the other side. Next, we got another one right here. Let me come over here and drop some miners on this one. do it that way. Let's see. I got these. I got stone, titanium. So let's see. One, two, three, four resources. I could do four types here. So I'm thinking it's doing maybe drop one tower here as a collector. Let's see, not the interstellar, I want the planet. So So if I drop one of these guys, like say Yeah, I could do that, because then what I can do is have this thing set to have fire ice, and then I'm going to have this set to be some stone, titanium, and let's just say copper. Because that would give us, we got whole bunch of stone veins here we can load up. Got one copper vein, but then I can ship these two fire ice there. And I can probably ship that titanium. Maybe not this stone, but the titanium we could. So I'm thinking about, we'll still use the drones. So yeah, so let's see how far away we can get the drones. So let's do this. Let's come back down here. And we'll set up. It's going to put, drop down our miners for these things here. Oops. Uh, OK. 
Okay, we got oh, we got the titanium glass done. All right, so let's just get. I just want to get every single one of these uh, nodes touched. All right, that should be all the nodes there. Uh, the stone node, that's going to be interesting. So we'll get... There's a lot of stone on this planet. All right, that won't hit every single node, but that's going to be enough for now. So let's come over here. Let's get this titanium. Since we need that going really quick too. And let's do... Okay, so... What I'm thinking is this. I'm going to come in here. We'll do... Ah. Dang it. All right. Let's just uh, grab those there. So what I want to do is grab this. So I'm going to have all of the titanium go into here. And then what we'll do is we'll have an output of titanium here. I mean, I guess I could have... Well, you know, I don't really need to do that. These are things are so close. I guess I could just run the lines in. So if I just come in here and go... So we'll come over here to this side. You know, just do that since out of the way. Okay, so that should get, once we get some power going, and uh, let's see, do we have, I'm going to have some wind, we'll see, I don't remember how much wind power this thing said it will create, if any, oh, nope, okay, yep, that's not going to do anything, <laughs> well, I got an achievement for it. <laughs> so I'll take it. <laughs> okay, so that's gonna means we're gonna have some fun. Okay, so let's see. Uh, yeah, yep. Yeah. Everything's there, so we're just gonna need to drop some Tesla Tower poles. Let's do that, and then we'll drop. We'll have to get some uh, other power in place here. So we'll do that, and then let's, uh, okay, now let's uh, get our copper and fire ice coming in. Now the fire ice, I will have to use the fidget spinners probably for the far line there, so we'll do that. There's some copper. Bring that down. Oops. Some stone. Ok, 
up here we'll bring it up like that so I forgot we had these other stone ones on the back side here nope, I want you to come in here to the middle one there we go there and then that's gonna come down here to there. Okay, yep, yep. Now, we also need a crate because we're going to do this. So then we're going to have. So, what I want to do here, this is going to be the incoming for. Uh, the fire ice from our, our further away unit. So let's come in here. Transportation. Uh, let's see. Did I free up any space? No. Of course not. Okay. Let me... Uh, let's do this. Let me get my... Uh, Tesla towers down. Because we need to get all this stuff powered anyway. some drones in here. Do, 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 do. Okay, now we need, uh, yeah, the fidget spinner. Uh, this I can drop back up here. This I can drop down here. And let's do that like so. And then we can come in here and just go grab that. Let's go boom, boom. And then what we want to do is here, we want to collect. And it's going to be fire ice. Okay, so that's the side. So let's get you. Box. I'll just use a small box for this one, I think. It's probably fine. Let's see, this might be this might work. going to be close enough so that'll work so let's see power wise it's uh all right we'll need to looks like all right that's fine and let's just see if we can't get this uh since these got a little further range we'll just kind of drop those like so. Okay. Now, I also need to make batteries and then we gotta build out a factory. 
So I'm not powering any of this stuff up yet because I gotta figure out where I'm gonna put everything and I don't want it to waste the, the power reserves here, so. So one thing that we have to build Gonna be, need the hydrogen and titanium, so we need the fire ice manufacturing and all that stuff. So let's see my blueprint, and I want my fuel rod. Oh, I don't have my proliferator either. Dang it. Um, let's see. So that's the start of the zone, right? Oh, well, that's got a big middle zone. Okay, so let's uh, maybe I'll build the batteries close to our zone here. Let's see. Oh, it's not going to build because my the way I have my stuff set up. Dang it. Uh. Okay, well, you know what? Maybe what I'm going to do is this. This will be just kind of lame, but I'm going to let it, because it'll start burning off a few things here for me. So I'm just going to drop one of these down. And then I'm going to manually fill it. Let's drop some oil in there, because that's going to do nothing. Let's drop all this graphene in here overloaded so it's not going to do anything okay well it is charging so that's all right well it might be overloaded but it's letting it do something so that freed up a little bit of space now I can drop some of those in there drop those ones back um, I'm gonna need some extras of that Drop that back. And then I think that will cover this for the moment. So let's uh, come back here again and do our blueprint and fuel rod. So which way is it going? Okay, so that's going that way, that's going that way. Uh, let's do, let's scoot it down just a little bit. Let's, uh, I'll drop that one right there. Wait, did it not? time it went. Okay, and then let's see, I know I'm going to need at least one more. Which way? Okay, is that right? Yep. Okay, so let's just drop that down. Okay, we have our tower. I'm going to back it off just a touch here. make room for the proliferation and all that again. About right there, yeah. Okay, so, and this is going to take that and that and demand and fuel rod is supply. 
And then I want some of this to demand, but we'll set it to there. I mean, we still got to get that set up, unfortunately. Every little bit. All the fun of getting a new planet set up. So... I won't even have the proliferators in place yet, but let's uh, get this line here. So this is the output. Uh, shoot, I did it. I off-centered it. Dang it. Err. Okay. Yeah. Okay, let me do... Let me just bring... Yeah, come on. You bring that out a little bit so it makes it easier to line up. Sure, there you go. Okay. So there's that. And then the fuel rod takes, what was it? It takes uh, 10 hydrogen. Okay, so the hydrogen was the one closest. And the titanium was this inner one. So... Oh, I gotta connect the lines. Go there, 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 and there. Okay. And then, oh wow, it squeezed that in there, didn't it? <laughs> All right, so hydrogen. Well, we're gonna have all of this stuff coming out of here this time, so we can take those like this. This will make the proliferation a lot easier than what we had before. So I guess I could have put this a lot closer. Dang it. Oh well, this works. Right, because then I can set up these. Let's go boom. One, two, three. Oh, you, you kind of shifted, you punk. Oh, wait, I don't need it on those center one. <laughs> Okay, that was my bad. Is it too close? I guess that's too close. There we go. Now this will be all kind of just preliminary until we get all the power and everything hooked up, but we need titanium, we need hydrogen, we are going to be batteries and juice. Okay, so this is going to go down, demand, demand, demand. Okay, and then we need our Let's do that there. And then we'll take this guy here to get us connected into the network. Okay, so now we have that. Now I also need to create my So we need the smelters. Let's see. Let's go to this side because then the titanium would be a little closer. 
maybe. Yeah. Actually, it probably doesn't really matter. I'll just go back over here. Let's just kind of keep it nearby, and then I'll go to we'll go to our middle planet because I think it had a bunch of coal. I think if I remember right. Did it? Actually, let me check because I want to get proliferation juice. So we have this guy. Uh, yeah, it's got a bunch of coal. So we're going to do our proliferation there. And we got the oil so we can make our graphene. So once we get it, it'll start proliferating. But until then, we'll just have to deal with normal. All right, this should create a bunch of batteries. So now we need... Our... Let's see, do I have a smelting farm? I don't think I actually have a, uh, I mean, this is probably the closest, I think. But I don't think I've actually got one set up. So that's, some um, problematic. Okay, so, well, we're going to set one up, because that way I can just blueprint it off. And we need... So let's do that, because then I can take some of these smelters and go like that. And let's see, so we have, right now I have tier 2 belts, so they hold 12 units, so and the titanium takes one per, and we can come in here. Let's just do this. Let's say production smelters. So that's a it's a one to one. So on a line, should be able to get twelve, at least twelve. Do the input and then have the output. So one. Skip one, one, three, and then I'll skip one, one, two, three, skip one, one, two, three. So then we'll have our line, a return line in the middle here. Let's just do this. Let's set that up for return. And this would be our input. So I'm just kind of laying some stuff out here. And then we'll have, let's get some more. So we'll have another 12 on this side. So one, two, three. Skip a space here. One, three. So then what I want to do is, so this would be output, input, and then we'll do another input on this side. Right. And then we can do this one more time do all this again so let's do it's so actually you know what let me do it this way let me take it's going to take this all the way down take this all the way back take that all the way down and let's get our input 
inputs. And let's do... If I do output at the top on this sign. And then open. And then do output on the bottom on that sign. And input in the middle. And come in here and we'll set our titanium. Come in here and set our titanium. And then we'll do our... Shift click. some more of these. Alright, and try that again. Shift click. Three. Okay. That's a basic smelter stack, so what I want to do now is I'm going to do this. Let's uh, grab... to there. Oh, you know what? Actually, before I do that, let me uh, drop some power poles in here. Two. And four. Do it like that. Because if I drop another line there, so that I'll just have to manually do that one maybe. It's like just outside, so let's do this. Um, will still connect up so let's do this and then I'm gonna create a little blueprint here and I'm just gonna call it titanium I mean technically we could change it to whatever we want but because I can reuse it for anything uh, titanium 24x smelt take this and I'm going to drop it about right there I think oh come on angle too wide okay well that works so let's just see what it does. It's like it looked like it was in the same latitudinal zone, so I figured it would still work. Drop, drop, drop. Get us our tower. So I don't need it too far away. But I want I do want to be able to put on the proliferator still, so Eh, 
Yeah, that's okay. About right there. So this will be... This is the input line. And this is the input line. Okay. And then we got output one. And we'll add the filter shortly. Output two. Output three. So this is going to be, we need raw titanium. We are making that. And then we also want some juice. We'll drop that there. And that should uh, get us once we start getting things going. I will have to come back and add the proliferation, but This should be fine, because we're going to have to get some stuff set up construction-wise, so I'm just trying to get all this stuff started. So that'll get us our titanium. And then let's uh, we'll grab one of these. Stick it on that line. So there's that. Okay. So now we gotta build a chemical factory for the fire ice. And then I think we'll go set up a. Oh, we already got this one here, so let's see what's. Uh... And then we'll get this tower up here set up. Actually, let's do that. Let's come over here. So what do we want this one to do? We want this to supply, remote demand, local supply, and then we're going to have this be batteries. So local demand, remote supply, because this is gonna ship out the batteries. And I think, well, that's all we need to set up for the moment. So do that. And then let's do that. And I mean, I know I can add some warpers too. But I think that's that'll be good for right now. Let's drop that power pole right there. And then what I'll do is I'll put some power around here. So let's see, I think I have that as a blueprint, don't I? Did I not save it? No, nope, I guess I did not save it. Dang it. Okay, well, that's fine. So what we're gonna do is I'm going to pave over this section. So there, it's that. So then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use this ring and maybe this ring for power right now. So what we're gonna take, we got 49 of these guys. We're gonna rotate it. And we can, we're gonna do a one, two kind of deal. Uh, 
Uh, it's not gonna quite space out the way I was thinking. If I used this, let's see, if I did a line coming out from there, right, okay, yeah, this isn't going to work. So if I did a, let's just drop some line down just so I have it. And then we have, if I take these guys. I wish we could kind of like pseudo rotate these things as well. That'd be nice. I was hoping to just set them all up here, but maybe that's not going to work as well as I thought. So I do want this to be a remote supply, so let's. Okay, so maybe what I need to do then is maybe make our power uh, where Oops, that's not what I wanted. Okay, so here's what we just set up, so let's say, let's get closer to the equator, maybe. So that looks like that's about right here. This is the equator line. So here, we'll do that. This will just be batteries and demand. And then, oh my, I'm gonna have to make some of these. I'm almost out. Uh, that's not good. Okay, well. Well, after we get some of this power generation set up, then we'll be starting in on our uh, fabrication for all of our buildings. So that's what I think I'm going to do. So what I'm going to, so what I'm thinking to do really quick, just so we can lay it out, and then I can do it offline, so you don't have to sit through all of this tedious bits right here. But this is how we're going to set this up. So I'm going to set up a, a power unit. And we're just going to take these guys here, like so. And I'm going to stack them as close as I can. And after I get out of the way. And I'll do it three wide on each side, I think. Two, three. Two, three. And then what I do is I'm going to take these guys here and basically go in 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 like that right so that's basically what I'm going to do and then that will get us what we need because what I could do is then I can load this up with some batteries and then these will start kicking off and they'll start generating power and then we can, I'm going to connect it 
through our line here, so... So that should do that, right? And then that'll... That'll feed into the grid. And uh, I just need to add a bunch of power plants. So let's just... Uh, I mean, I'm going to try to let it finish this off with you seeing some power being generated. So let's uh, come on down. And uh, get these other ones here set up really quick. I don't think I have enough batteries on me for it. all this, but we'll see. How's my... I'm doing okay right now. So what I'm going to do is we are going to take 30 in there, 30 in there. Basically, just manually feeding these in. While we start working. Okay, there we go. So that's uh, starting to provide us some power. Let's see how bad we're doing. Yeah, 25 to 89, so yeah. Not much, but uh, we got to get, we need this guy smelting to be able to even get batteries starting to be produced. So let's just take a quick peek at what's being generated really quick off of the base power that we got. Uh, let's see, how's this doing? All right, let's, uh, let's upgrade that. Upgrade that. Yep, there we go. Let's come over here, take a peek. Let's just make sure everything's getting fed in properly so that way we can get things moving. There's the stone. And there's the titanium. So let's just, I'm just gonna drop some of that in there just so that way it's running, why not? Okay, so the titanium is being manufactured, so let's see, is that, how's it doing? Supply, okay, so we should hopefully be having some titanium being smelted. Uh, oh, I did not set that right, demand, this is supply. This is demand. Okay, and then, oh, I did not set the uh, filters on here. Set that to, oh, come on. Filter, titanium, er, no, 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 no. This is the ore. is the ore and that is ore that is ore okie dokie let's see how are we doing we have it hitting all the way to the end there all the way to the end there all the way to the end there. Okay, we got all of these now hit. So let's make sure we got this set right. I don't have any hydrogen yet, so I can't get that going. So I still have to get the chemical plant going. This will be that. Uh, then that is going to be hydrogen. And this is going to be hydrogen. So I do need to get the chemical plant set up, 
And then once we get the chemical plant set up, we will start having batteries being produced. So I do have enough batteries that I can kickstart that power again if I need to. But uh, we got to get the chemical plant. So that's going to be our next thing to set up. And uh, when you return, hopefully I'll have that configured. I'll have that set up maybe. Or maybe I'll just do that on episode for the next one. Um, and see what we can get set up. And then we got to start setting up our little fabrication mall. So we do have some copper being mined, but we need to get the iron and copper and all that stuff so we can start building our mall. So we need to get our other planets sorted, but we needed power sorted so that way we can start shipping it to all of our planets here in this system. So I might end up having to create another one of these. We'll see. We'll see how things go once we get the hydrogen cracking. So until next time, I hope you enjoy watching Dyson Sphere program as we now have gotten to our first extra solar system here. And we're going to start setting up all of our manufacturing and get everything going. So, you know, remember, like, comment, subscribe, all that fun stuff. And we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.